Mr. Speaker, I want to thank Chairwoman Johnson and Ranking Member Lucas for their extraordinary bipartisan leadership on these bills. These two bills recognize the urgency of federal scientific investment. You know, over the fa uh, past few decades, federal spending on R&D flatlined as a share of our economy, and it's fallen in absolute terms. Meanwhile, global competitors jump-started their economic growth through such investments that spurs innovation. Maintaining our leadership in research and development is arguably more important than ever. Now is the time to be bold in our vision of what's possible. We shortchange the nation every year when we refuse to fund a rich portfolio of research opportunities. I want to talk about NSF for the future. It's part of the remedy, and it strikes the appropriate balance of expanding popular and effective projects and programs while expanding the Foundation's role and mandate to new areas of evolving technologies. The approach to the creation of a new directorate outlined in the bill sets an appropriate benchmark as we engage with the Senate, and it has received overwhelming support from the academic, scientific, and business communities. We need to make sure we get this right. The bill will allow NSF to improve the speed and scale of its core missions to advance basic and fundamental research while promoting innovative uh, solutions to the challenges we face as a nation. We must support uh, this effort, the NSF bill, as well as the Department of Energy Science for the Future Act. I strongly urge my colleagues to support these two pieces of leg legislation, and I commend the uh, committee for its excellent work, and I yield back.